हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई होप यू विल बी वेरी वेल आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे नोट पैड पर कैसे हम इन लाइन सी एस एस एंड हाउ टू अप्लाई इंटरनल सी एस एस एंड लेट से एक्सटर्नल सी एस एस थ्री अप्रोच हैं सी एस एस के तीनों में अप्लाई करके यहाँ पर देखते हैं ठीक है यहाँ पर मैं सबसे पहले क्या कर लेता है इसका बॉडी क्लोज कर लेता हूँ एंड देन आई विल क्लोज द स्टार्ट टू राइट द कंटेंट इन बॉडी ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट मेक्स योर पैराग्राफ इन विच यू हैव टू राइट सम कंटेंट ओके लाइक पैरा दिस इज Like so you can uh, upper case or uh, whether lower case don't matter. Okay, uh, it will will manage automatically. <laughs> so don't worry about that. So how first of all we discuss about on um, inline cases. So what is inline cases? When we apply the property with the content, just like how. Uh, just like uh, for example, in the previous lectures in HTML, we had used already attributes in opening tags. But uh, whatever, whatever uh, paragraph, article, section, anything, ठीक है? तो इसमें बात करते हैं इसकी. तो यहाँ पर हम क्या use करेंगे? Suppose that uh, just write uh, स्टाइल स्टाइल इज इक्व टू बैकग्राउंड कलर रेड वी अप्लाई द प्रॉपर्टी स्टाइल इक्व टू बैकग्राउंड कलर कलर रेड दिस जस्ट पॉइंट आउट द सिंटेक्स वाट we have to write style equals to double inverted comma and background color with hyphen colon red semicolon double inverted comma close and the opening brackets ending point close got it and here a lot of the content we close the paragraph head so this is your inline css That is the called inline CSS, which is already discussed in the HTML uh, HTML lectures. Got it? So you can visit on previous lecture. <laughs> so now this time for the running on the web page. So just go through web page and let's see what will uh, render, and I will get that. Control S, I will save it. First of all, and then I will save uh, CSS dot HTML. It is mandatory for uh, using HTML dot extension if you use the uh, HTML file. Just click all file, and uh, I will save in the desktop browser, and uh, save. Uh, so already exist. Oh, sorry guys. So I will use C 
CSS one. Got it. Now CSS one. <coughs> Yeah, you can see interface which will I render got that so, which uh, content already I have written that background already filled with the red color because I have used the background color is red this is the inline CSS where you are property will apply with your content inside your uh, opening tags got it you can also use the um, this property color colon uh, blue got it this then i will click here just as you can see interface and the way is render i have got that so this is the inline css got it now let's talk about what is internal css so for the uh, internal css you have to make sure that uh, your content or syntax you can let's say that write app to in your had uh, head tag so first of all you have to need here sorry guys style 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 tag and closing style tag of all we have need to write here then every your internal property will apply on under the style tag got it so in uh, style tag what is style tag oh sorry uh, internal css so internal css is nothing but internal css is the specifically just uh, let's say that up kaise to ki yahan par aap स्टाइल के अंदर एक स्पेसिफिक जो आपके टैग्स हैं उनके वर्ड से इस चीज पर्टिकुलर को टैग करके इसकी प्रॉपर्टी को चेंज करोगे ठीक है तो सपोज दैट मैंने क्या किया मैंने क्या किया मैंने किया मैंने लिखा पी और एक पैराग्राफ में और ले लेता हूँ पैराग्राफ पढ़ लेता हूँ कंट्रोल सी एक पैराग्राफ पढ़ लेता हूँ कंट्रोल बी किया इसको ठीक बात एंड नाउ व्हाट विल आई डू जस्ट आई विल पी आई विल यूज पी बिकॉज वी हैव यूज paragraph tag with the content so i will choose the p word which is the uh, tag of word got it so i will use p then curly braces then property property what to be property which will apply on your content suppose that uh, we use uh, ground background color color uh, gray got it and also use color uh, color pink got it after that you have to ensure your uh, calibricus has to close or not you have to close that polis then what will i get that just go and press here what will you get 
just I have got that my internal CSS has been applied on my content on second paragraph and first paragraph is specifically apply with the inline CSS so in so inline CSS if you choose whether in line with your and uh, additionally internal so you will get that priority will uh, fetch uh, to in line then internal if you use two types of priority so priority will get in line CSS not internal CSS got it तो जैसा कि आप यहाँ पर देख पा रहे हैं यू कैन सी हियर यहाँ पर अगर मैं क्या करता हूँ अगर मैं यहाँ से क्या करता हूँ अगर मैं ये करता हूँ कि अगर मैं यहाँ से यही प्रॉपर्टी जो है मैं क्या करूँ यहाँ से इसको हटा देता हूँ और अरे चलो एक्सटर्नल की बात कर लेते हैं फिर इसके ऊपर और जो डेप्थ में डिस्कस है वो बात करते हैं इसके बारे में अब मेरा ये ये क्या प्रॉपर्टी हो गई यहाँ पर जैसे ये हमने यूज किया ये क्या हो गई मेरी इंटरनल प्रॉपर्टी हो गई ये मेरी क्या हो गई यहाँ पर ये ये मेरी क्या हो गई एक्सटर्नल प्रॉपर्टी हमने यूज किया यहाँ पर हमने क्या किया कि हमने इंटरनल प्रॉपर्टी यूज किया हुआ है इसको बोलते हैं इंटरनल प्रॉपर्टी ठीक है अब If uh, we will discuss about external property, you have to create another file with the dot uh, CSS extension, and you if you will uh, save your file with same directory where your this file uh, save already in which directory in that directory you have to save. That CSS file with C dot CSS extension. Got it? So now let's uh, create. We have to create just a new file. So I will just click Control N. Control N. And I will create. Already I think uh, I have created. So uh, except that uh, I will again create because. Uh, this is your um basic understandings so <clears throat> let's uh, talk about uh, first of all control o and open which file i will open ESS on HTML. Open. And I will keep the both file together. Control S and save with X personal dot CSS. We have to save this file with same directory. If you have saved your HTML file in desktop directory, you have to save your same directory. So I have make sure save. Got it. Now, first of all, just uh, I will write down what I will write down some article tags. <coughs> Sorry. I will tell you every concept very separately. That's why you will get very well. And I will copy Control C and I will the paste 
then I will close uh, our clicker. Water. Now uh, I will go through uh, my CSS. So I we have I think the should attach both file together uh, keep the this file together just uh, what will I do just uh, wait yeah yes now have you looked at this yeah first of all i will write the property in css which already i have created file external external means uh let's say no we have to use separate file for link with html file first of all we have need to create a uh, property without any boilerplate so i will write uh, article and uh, yeah, save that property background color and here i will write what mm. semicolon color is equals to red text align you can use a lot of property this is the overview that's why i am not a uh, telling you and explaining you very huge and huge property lot of types you will get the confused that's why i'm uh, giving you overview okay so just element you will you can manage okay got it so i will close the curly braces got it this is not enough this is not enough to create your external css this is the first step second step is you have to make sure your html file and css file which is you already make uh, made uh, separately but you have to ensure that that your css and html file has been linked or not so it's still uh, not linked so i will second step what i will link the my css file with my uh, HTML file got it so what will I do just I will write what I will write to link link rel equals to style C close sorry i will then write what i will write href which is very mandatory already which is used in uh, anchor and something something lot of stacks so here what you have to write here you have to write your external css file name which you have to ensure during your saving the file got it to so my fair file is name is external got it dot css so i will write here external dot css then semicolon close and that's close <coughs> Uh, 
yes i think uh, this syntax we have to write just to above style got it now this my external css separate file has been linked in my html file now i will save both file got it now what will you get that just go through your my uh, web uh, ui i will yeah got it what have you got I got that your article content which already you have applied the property yellow color and that was content red color uh, just look at here what do you have applied background color yellow yeah yellow color means uh, text property red color uh, text align text align but here what problems text align i have not uh, make sure so i will mm, sorry for guys this issue i have right just three types of will right center left and center i have to write we mm, let's say i will write uh, middle or center you can anything you can write middle or center i will write middle got it control s you didn't get uh, sorry Again, i will write i a this file will apply in html means css will use center control s yeah have you got it so overall <coughs> i have tell you with uh, web page rendering output this is first is your apply which is your inline css then what we have to apply it uh, internal css then i have applied uh, external css you have got this uh, second line is blank because we have to remove the property as you can see here yeah look at here yes here you can see i have i have removed property that's why you are getting background is not double uh, exist got it so i think you have uh, got it very well and uh, if i if you have any query and you want to more discuss in depth at this uh, topic please comment your uh, thesis comment and uh, please support us this is my first uh, CSS introduction with you so please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, please keep it this video and have a good day Thank you, bye-bye.